Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys a really cool tool that makes welding in hard to reach tight places so much easier. It's a huge time saver. Let's get after it. The truth is I've actually had this tool for over a year and it's not something that you're gonna use all that often in the garage, right? You, you, you don't wanna use it every day because you would wear it out. But when you need it, it's a huge time saver to actually have it. And uh, I told the company when they wanted to, to maybe send me one, I said, listen, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys have watched a lot of my other videos, but I'm not gonna promote something blindly. I gotta use it, I gotta abuse it, I gotta make sure that it's good before I want to tell people that watch my channel that they should also go get it uh, or maybe they would be interested in it. And that's why it's taken a little bit of time for me. You may have seen it in a couple other of my videos if you had a really, really keen eye because I have used it before, but today we're going to highlight it. Flex MIG 360. And whether you are MIG welding anywhere, out in the field building fences or you're MIG welding on off-road projects or street car project, race cars, roll cages, whatever the situation is, this tool is gonna to save you a bunch of time and here's why. We all have seen the MIG torch. This one is well used, it's covered in overspray, it's worn, the tip is probably should have been replaced six months ago, but it is what it is, it still works, I'm still rocking it here. Now guys, when you're MIG welding, you need to make sure that obviously you're at the right angle and that you have room to get in there and lay a nice bead. Well, the problem is that tip, right, on this welder, I mean, the, the handle of this gun, space constraints become an issue and you kind of get limited with your angle in certain situations. I'm here doing some finish welding on the rear axle of my project CJ here, the rock gobbler, and I need to finish welding this lower control arm bracket to the axle tube. And with my brake caliper in here, there is no way that I could get this MIG torch in there and actually get the right angle. I mean, you can see there that angle is not going to work. I can't, I can't even get it any closer. Uh, now I could come from the top and get the first little bit but then as soon as we start to get lower on it, it would be really tough to get the right angle in there and actually get a weld in certain places. That's where the flex MIG is gonna come in and be a total game changer. If you've noticed the Badger welder back there, that is a really cool portable welder. Uh, it's battery operated, it has the option of shielding gas. Uh, it's really, really awesome. I'll talk about that in some more videos coming up. Uh, same situation, I've had that welder now for a while, used it and abused it. I definitely support them. So I will be putting videos out for that pretty soon if you're interested. The Flex MIG 360, really, really simple. Um, this one I've already used, like I said, so it's kind of already assembled, taking it out of the box, but you kind of get the idea here. It basically is just an extension of your welding torch. But the cool thing about this one is that once the handle is squeezed down, this is flexible and you can move it and you can manipulate it. So not only does it give you an extension for your welder so you can hold your torch further away for hard to reach places, it also allows you to manipulate it and get it into places and allowing you to hold your torch at the correct angle. So the first thing we're gonna have to do in order to, uh, to swap it out is basically take the tip off, no big deal. Um, we're gonna unthread the end of this and you can notice here Hopefully you can see it on camera. There's actually a little ball there left on the end from a previous weld. We're gonna to wanna to cut that off. Uh, number one, it'll make it easier to get this tip out, but also we'll keep the liner in good shape on our flex MIG tool. So we're gonna snip that off. Now we can re release the tip. Make sure to take this off. If you notice the end of this basically has the same thread that the tip did. So it just threads into the welder and it's got these ports on it to allow your shielding gas to actually flow through. We're gonna get our wires started. There we go. 
I have just lined it up in the in the liner there. I'm gonna put this on. We're gonna tighten it down. And now this rubber grip on it, we're just gonna basically slide it down so that it covers this area and keeps the gas in there. And basically forces it up those holes that I just showed you a second ago. So we'll slide it down, make sure we can seal it. And guys, there is our new extended torch with that flexible tip. So let's lay a bead and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Now you gotta be sure to run your wire up and out the end. Right, we haven't done that yet. Basically find the right angle that's gonna work for me to get down in here in this spot. That, guys, is a pretty sharp angle there and I think that's gonna work for me. Uh, you wouldn't be able to do that with a, with a regular MIG torch. I wanna show you guys what that weld looks like in here because uh, it turned out pretty good. I don't know if you could see it on video, my angle and stuff that I was in there with, but it saved, it saved me a bunch of time because, yeah, I could have removed my brake caliper and had a little bit more room, maybe slid this bolt out that was in here and had a little bit more room. But as you guys can see, I mean, that up there, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good weld in there, right? A couple of spots I might need to maybe get in there. I don't know, I think that's just a shadow. Um, but yeah, that weld, guys, is is pretty good in there. Um, and it was able to, to basically get in a super tight place. If you're wondering, I think this measures to be about a 10 inch extension on this. But I mean, guys, you can, I mean, you can bend it all over the place. I mean, it is, it is crazy. And you saw the angle that I was welding on. I mean, it was, it was pretty, pretty much like this. Uh, now the problem with this, and like I said, it's not really a problem with the tool itself, but you get muscle memory when you weld, right? Normally my wire would be coming straight out and you kind of get the muscle memory of, of either making your loops or going, going side to side, right? If you're weaving, depending upon how you're, how you're moving it. Well now, because of this 90 degree angle here, and if I'm gonna go do a side to side pattern on a joint, you're actually moving forward and back to go side to side, right? Your, your, your motion here with the torch in your other hand, your trigger hand, you're going forward and back to go side to side with the tip. So even more bizarre if you're back here, right? Because now you're still kind of moving side to side and moving down. It's not as bad, but the way your eyes are watching it versus the way you have to hold your hand and the way everything is moving is a little bit different. So guys, it takes a little bit of getting used to, you know, you're fighting that muscle memory and that kind of stuff. It can be a little bit awkward to use, but obviously you saw how much time it saved me. Now, yeah, I could have went in there. I could have spun out those couple of bolts, removed the caliper. It wouldn't have been that big of a deal, but you guys all know when you're out there welding, you get into all sorts of situations where that was just purely an example where you either can't reach or you're reaching deep in between two panels, that 10 inch extension, even if you leave it straight, it's really nice to have. Now guys, obviously the shielding gas was able to get through. I just can't speak highly enough about this product. It really truly is a good one. I've had it for, like I said earlier in the video, about a year, I probably used it about two dozen times and it's just rocks, it still works, right? I mean, that liner eventually is gonna wear out from bending it around, so you don't wanna leave it on your torch and use it all the time, but when you need it, it's really, really, really nice to have. Guys, why don't you get out there, make sure you build something.